everyone, today I want to review Salvage the Bones by Jasmine Ward. This is my first experience with Jasmine Ward. She's only recently come to my attention, mostly because of her new novel, Sing Unburied Sing, which I'm very eager to read, but also her memoir, Men We Reaped, which I also definitely want to get to. But for some reason, despite having written other things, including this really amazing book. I hadn't really heard much about her before, so it's only the publicity of her new novel that really brought her to my attention, and I'm really really glad it did. Obviously, since this is my first experience with Ward's writing, I don't know how it compares to her new novel, but I must say that Salvage the Bones is a remarkable novel that I know will really stick with me for a long time. This is about a family living in rural Mississippi. In the days leading up to Hurricane Katrina, the timing was just very odd reading this book because I read it in the midst of Hurricane Harvey, and although I'm very far away from it, I was very aware of it as a tragedy happening in my country. Obviously I don't know what it's like to experience it as it's happening, but I did follow the stories and continue to follow the stories with Hurricane Irma on, on the horizon. So. Um, the timing of this was strange. I don't know whether or not it was a good or a bad thing that I'm reading it now, but it definitely felt really real and really relevant in the time that I'm reading it because I know that the after effects of Harvey and Irma are going to affect us for years just as Hurricane Katrina did um, and how catastrophic that was as an event. And of course, if any of you have been affected by Harvey or Irma, I hope that you are safe. I hope that things are as okay as they can be. I just want to express my, my sympathies. Very sincerely hope that you are well and safe as you possibly can be. Salvage the Bones definitely brought some of the realities of what is happening right now with both Harvey and Irma to life in ways that I, I definitely couldn't experience where I am in Colorado. And obviously I don't know what it's like to experience a disaster of this size or this grave. It definitely felt all the more real because of what is happening. I just want to express all of my sympathies to you out there who may have been affected by the storms or your friends or family. A terrible natural disaster in our history and um, I don't feel like I could make this video without saying something like that, even though I feel like my words are not sufficient in expressing my, my sympathy for any of your losses. But this book definitely brought a lot of that home and made it hit all the more powerfully because of what's happening now. Saying that this is about a family and Hurricane Katrina isn't enough. Because Katrina kind of takes a back seat for the majority of the novel. It's a novel that spans the course of 12 days, specifically following one teenage girl named Esh. She has just discovered that she is pregnant, and so a lot of the novel actually is dealing with her grappling with this revelation and how she is going to, to handle it. It's very much about her relationship with her brothers and her father, who is an alcoholic, and the father is concerned about the impending hurricane and does want to prepare, but is simultaneously incapable of doing so because of his disease and the children aren't concerned about it so they're not really helping very much in the preparations and they don't realize that it's going to be a really horrific event so they they don't pay it much mind and and so there's an oppressive feeling of the storm and the heat brewing underneath the surface for the course of most of the novel before the storm finally hits there's a tension and a dread that is built and sustained throughout the novel that I found to be really impressive and one of the best parts of Jasmine Ward's writing style. Because there's the oppression and the tension of the storm, but there's also the tension of the secret that Esh is hiding her, her pregnancy and how that is going to surface. And much like the storm, there's this feeling brewing inside of her, literally a baby growing, but she treats it very much like an illness or a parasite. Um, it, it, she talks very much of discomfort and, and sickness, and clearly this was not a planned pregnancy, so it, it's very much like a storm brewing in her, which I thought was a really powerful metaphor that I really enjoyed seeing Ward explore throughout the course of this novel. And on top of that, you have Esh's relationship to her brothers, specifically to one named Skeet, who has raised a pit bull for dog fights. Uh, and at the opening of this novel, China, the dog, is birthing puppies, which Skeet hopes to either sell or train to be other fighting dogs. So that is also a key component of the story, and a lot of one-star reviews or DNFs I saw on Goodreads were a consequence of this. It is a book that involves dog fights. There are dogs that experience violence and pain and sickness, and I don't think it makes it a stronger or weaker book just because Jasmine Ward happens to include animal violence, because it's a component of the story. But I know that some people are incapable of reading anything about violence to dogs, so if that is you, do not read this book because you will that is, that is here. It, it does not uh, shy away from a really bloody dog fights. 
those are involved as well as the birth scene which in itself is quite graphic and vivid so if those are things that you don't think that you will enjoy reading or you will actively dislike this book because it contains those elements then you should probably stray away but that is another big component of it is the dog fights and the presence of dogs and knowing that the storm is coming and the tension of these newly born puppies and whether or not they will survive the storm and so that is another element of tension and um, suspense and dread that Jasmine Ward built into the story is what is going to happen to the dogs. These layers are all really expertly woven together, the storm, the pregnancy, and the dogs. I think that they work really well together and make a very compelling story. As I said, the book is composed of 12 days. Each chapter is one day leading up to and immediately after Hurricane Katrina. So it's, it's a very well crafted in terms of just building to a climax and then the re immediate resolution. It basically follows that progression perfectly, the storm being the climax. And in that way, it does feel a little constructed. And another flaw that I see in this book is that there's not any room for character development because it takes place over the course of 12 days. So things happen to the characters and they are impacted by them, but not in any kind of lasting way that we can see as readers because we only get to see, you know, two weeks of their lives. So we don't really know the ultimate consequences of the hurricane, which were devastating. Perhaps that is a defect of the book, but I don't think so. I don't feel like I was missing anything personally from not getting to see the family after Katrina in, it, in the long-term consequences of the storm on their family, because that's not really ultimately what this story is about. And for me, that really works and kept the story tight and consolidated in a way that I thought was really effective. But I know that other people might find that lacking. You don't get to see these characters grow, develop, and change over time. It's very much a snapshot of one family in one particular moment of American history. And I know that won't work for everyone, but for me, it definitely worked. I love the plot, the pacing, the writing is so powerful. It's unlike anything else that I've ever read. Jasmine Ward uses a lot of similes, really powerful, vivid similes, to bring her characters and her setting to life. And that, for me, was the most notable, specific element that she uses again and again. I loved her use of simile, but also just the way that she writes in itself creates tension and dread so effectively. And like I said, the storm, while only in the foreground for a couple of chapters, it feels so present for the entirety of the novel. The, the oppression of the humidity and the heat and the building of the storm, I felt it from page one. I just could feel it in the air. Even though I live in a very dry, arid place, I felt the storm brewing, and I found it to be very affecting. I'm so eager to read more of Jasmine Ward's stuff in the future, and I would love to hear your thoughts on Salvage the Bones or any of her other works that you may have read. What is a good book to go to next? And of course, any thoughts you have on Salvage the Bones itself as a work, I would love to hear those too. That's all I have to say on Salvage the Bones. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.